Pacific Standard Time, 12-20-2010. 12-20-2010. The pre-market futures are up. They have a nice little show on TV for the public to watch. Uh, FedEx uh, has a preview show that people are watching this morning. However, that's for the general public. And what we do here is we're going to talk about price action because an SMF, MMT, market maker. That's what they are with price action. Intermune, 3.19, news is out. ASPG, a 2.7 ratio. Google, a 2.45. So basically a 1.52 on that Amazon. Take a look at that and that Netflix, that's 1.22. Now, as I have said, the markets have they have made the highs and for 10 days in a row for 10 days in a row they put in a top pattern at price then slide the bid so that's when a short kicks in and that's how the money was printing and that trade still remains the same until proven otherwise. SMF MMTs. That's the important thing. So in the retail side here you got that DECK, you got a, a Lulu and you got Baidu trying to get a little bit of a gap and that MICC. So Apple's down on the list at a uh, 0 0.71 uh, price action ratio gap and like I have said clearly once they pull back that price action on the pullback has to contract and set up and then break higher again and in your SMF MMT platform it'll address that and show that very clearly so once again for 10 actual trading days in a row SMF MMTs, it's been about slide that bit. Yes, you can get to 369 off the bottom, but you better be coming out at the top and selling short at the same time because that's all you're going to get in a spread. And there were lots of days like that, and there was 10 of them in a row. So let's see if today starts a new period of 10. So today we'll count it as day one against the last 10 days. We're going to watch for price action to expand in your teeny action ranges. So as long as, as that is expanding, well then you know that the power and the momentum, momentum is in there. You buy it. You buy it and you understand the price action, the market maker price action ranges. So if they're going up two teenies and coming down two teenies and going up a teeny breakouts at prices and then they keep going higher to the right, you'll know it in the ascending part of, the, of your platform. Your platform will tell you that in a bid and ask. these are the gaps we're going to be watching the actual pullback the intraday morning high on the opening bell we're going to see how far they take off at that price action if they start to diminish right away then it's going to start putting in a top on a three let a six then the nine come into play and that will give you your price action, MMT. You don't have to worry about anything because that's where they're going to be bouncing and that's where they're going to be going up to. That's that very short range. But then when they break out and you see that bid or the ask pop way higher, then that's when you're going to get ready to be a seller. That is, if you're hit at the lower end, you always have to have the wholesale entry. So basically, 
if there's a, a quick drop down a dollar seventy, you got your limit orders out there. That's a good price action or set a price action alarm. So pre-market, we're going to be watching and see if we can uh, what the bulls do. Uh, price action will tell us just as it did the previous 10 days. Now we're starting a new 10 days. And today's day one of that. Plus it's also a holiday weekend. And MMTs, the price action hits. When it hits there, it bounces real fast. Because you'll have different price action stages within its top once it puts its top in and it will out they always do so on Apple that's what you're going to be watching for um, on this TQQ this bull here and it's got a 0.66 ratio you're going to be watching that because what, what what's going to happen here is if that is staying at a high ratio then that means that the names that move it like Apple and Google and Amazon there's different kinds of stocks that help populate those prices that are kind of you know you know they're related so basically we're going to be watching that okay and that's your uh, 0.65 gap ratio in your platform our uh, 6 6 ratio right here Okay, and this AS or this APSG right here, 2.78. Find the news right now and look at where that top will be. Remember, the good thing about the hyped up ones is, is that in your brain, people are going to be chasing that price. And as long as they continue to chase price and move it higher, you stay long. When that does stop, then, well, it's time to start building the short side of the trade. So on the opening bell, this is how you're going to treat it, MMTs. And Merry Christmas to everyone.